Good day, world. You are now tuned in with Queasy Lo Speaks Podcast. And on today's episode, I have a special guest by the name of Jay Vinyl. I'm Jayana. Persona is Jay Vinyl Art. Kind of self explanatory. I create artwork with vinyl. Besides you, uh, so let's get straight into it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So, how did you get started into just art in general? Well, um, shout out to Pops. I think that's where that DNA comes from. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My dad was an artist. My um, mom, she was heavily. Um, singing around the house okay. <laughs> so I learned to love and appreciate music like Whitney Houston like old okay. classics and I kind of combined the two with my art so yeah so as a woman in your field in, in this industry what's some of the things that you struggle with what's some of the things that, that make it hard for you to kind of you know what I mean enjoy what you do right um I don't know about I don't know if the woman aspect kind of holds me back I don't know I or just uh, well, it could. Thing. Yeah, it could, but yeah, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. um, I'm pretty sure some people have experienced that, you know, where it's just kind of biased based on sex. But mm-hmm. um, the art community has treated me very well. Um, when I do show up to events, I feel right. really appreciated. But um, as far as like some cons, you struggle. Um, just Charlotte itself not having a good um, advertisement <laughs> with their art. But, you know, I don't really know if there's truly like art shows that are on a consistent basis here yeah. in the city. And I wish they were, personally. So yeah. I think those are the only major drawbacks. Well, why do you feel like the city does not have what artists need to thrive as an no, artist? The art's just not appreciated. I was a teacher for like six years. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, I was an art teacher. So it's like, it's just not appreciated. Or it's not thought about being appreciated. Most people don't think of art being mm-hmm. um, things beyond canvases. So mm-hmm. they just don't care about it. But honestly, everything that we do is art you know our clothes our our clothes is art you know these devices that we use somebody constructed it you know it's just creative thinking i just getting people to think creatively more would be better would be best um because you know we all kind of just copying each other nowadays especially with social media Mm -hmm. um i think it would be pushed better if that was the case so just reframing it (laughs) i like how you put that because uh what it reminds me of is like when you jump into something that you love to do but you try to see what actually makes you stand out rather than just following right. the crowd right, of people. Right, right. So that's how you stand out. Um, I've noticed something that you have going on. So you do vinyl artwork, yes, right? Yes, right? So what are some new pieces that you are currently working on at the moment? Oh, right now? Yeah, you mind showing the people? <laughs> yeah, I did bring a, my latest creation. Um, I, like I said, I'm a really big advocate of pretty much thinking of art beyond just the canvas. So, I mean, I, people that are watching, they know I love doing my bags, but I, right. I kind of came with a new creation. It's in the works right now, um, but I like to take my art and turn it into aspects of fashion. Oh, that's um, so so this is my latest baby. It's very incomplete, but um, my new direction, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> my new direction yeah, this is and the back this is, is so really cool. Um, the new direction is really going into more utility bags. Um, I'm kind of a tom girl, and the little kind of prissy purses were kind of bothering me. <laughs> um, like my favorite bag, the DMX bag I have, um, which I should have bought, but it's too girly, I felt yeah. like, and I'm kind of tomboy, like I said. So um, this bag is very going to be more versatile. Yeah. Um, the straps are adjustable, so if you want to like just carry us a nice handbag, you can do that. Um, so if you want to do more like, you know, book bag style, you can also turn it into oh, a book yeah. bag. So I have these extra straps on the back <laughs> that I'm actually working on. It's still, if it falls apart, you gotta be mad at me. I'm just literally still working on it. <laughs> I haven't sewed it. I've glued it, but I haven't sewed it. Um, but yeah, this is actually a strap that the top part comes off. It's so like do, you like, do you like, do you cater to like a younger crowd or just... You just cater to everybody. I just cater to, to, <laughs> just cater to okay. cool people, you know. Okay. We like cool stuff. Um, but one thing I was trying to show, it kind of converts from being a purse to a book bag. So she and converted a purse <laughs> into a bag, y'all. Yeah. Y'all see this right here? So it's, it's one of my new kind of things. I think this is more my style, just something that's versatile. Mm-hmm. Uh, but still really cool. So, of course, it has two straps. But that's yeah, great. I really enjoy trying to push the envelope on what things are or should be. What have you done over the past couple of years to get yourself to where you currently are at right now? Oh God, what haven't I done? <laughs> but here's the book bag. Sorry, I didn't want to throw you off. Um, I've done a lot of things. So it turns into a book bag. It's so cool. All right, I'm putting that to the side. <laughs> and then I'm going to add some extra stuff on the front. Um, okay. But I think just me going through life and 
just experiencing things that I noticed at like art shows. I used to go to art shows when I was younger and like wouldn't sell anything. And I was like, maybe because all of my paintings are like three to $500. Oh, <laughs> so man. why not, you know, I went to school for business. So I was thinking like, okay, the average person, like I picture myself like going to art show, I don't have hundreds of dollars, but yeah. I do have like 20 bucks or like 60 bucks that I would really want to give to an artist. So I just started thinking more in terms of a business. Okay. And, having multiple um, options for people. So that's what got me into Rather than just one side Yeah, rather than okay. just having okay. canvases. Um, and it's great because you will sell those as an artist. It just takes a little longer, but having like tangible little small goods, yeah. um, I think is really awesome because people, you know, like why won't I buy a book bag? The average person buys a book bag, you know, whether it's for their kid or for themselves or, you know, I have hers, women love hers. Yeah. <laughs> so I think um, just thinking outside the box, creative thinking, like mm -hmm. I said again, um, just has kind of gotten me where I am today, like leveraging what I can use this material for, you know. So you consider yourself a minimalist by any chance? Um, I, I am kind of minimal. I'm simple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like okay. when I dress, it's mostly like color blocking. Okay. Like uh, I think that's my style. I'm just minimalist and like I like efficiency, things that yeah. are really convenient um, and simple. So yeah, yeah I, I would say that. Definitely that's, that's some good else. I mean, because uh, I've been a minimalist, I realized my whole life until I got yeah. up to about 25. So yeah. I started understanding, like, okay, I'm actually like saving. I'm mm -hmm. saving, I'm, I'm starting to save money more. I'm starting to, starting to actually live in my space and have the things that I need rather right. than what I want. So yes. that's a big thing that comes along. <laughs> it's with hard, that. yeah. It's very, very hard. It's very, very hard. hard. Very, very hard. Very, very hard. hard. Yes, um, so I agree, like just keeping mm -hmm. things simple, um, having things, even when I go to shows, keeping the inventory simple, people know exactly what, they might question like, what the heck is a final yeah. on a bag, like why would you do that, but um, a big part of what I do is just taking all these old vinyls that are like, one, either being thrown in the trash, thing people don't know is vinyls are not recyclable. So you yeah, actually can't is. recycle them. Um, they they break and it's you know great, but if you try to like melt them and turn them into something else, like most people do, like it would be a problem, <laughs> I guess, because of the chemicals that they, they use to so make. So you it. would be doing more so, yeah, harm like, yeah. to yourself. There, I'd be doing more harm to the earth if okay. I didn't do what I did. So I take all those dusty, crappy vines. I actually have gone to record stores and like asked them for the ones they're going to trash because. They just end up being a landfill because you can't like wow. say, burn them to do. And you it. make it so you make it worth your while to where it's beneficial to not just yourself but the consumer as well because yeah, they have something to wear. <laughs> Whatever Earth Day comes up, I make a big post about that. <laughs> so are you so, like yeah. one of them um, activists as far as the ecosystem goes. Oh um, gosh, no. <laughs> I would say <laughs> this this role has made me become that. But I get to use recyclable products. I think it's always good for the Earth. So. What is something yeah. that you look forward to um, uh -huh. accomplishing within the next uh, three to five years? Oh man, um, I really want to find, because I've been struggling, which is part of why I took a break. It's like mm -hmm. struggling to find um, good products because I don't technically make the actual bags. I just kind of do them up. So I eventually want to have my own product to be made. Um, I know some sources that make them. I just have to yeah. get that income the money for it okay, okay. um but you know that that distribution is expensive you know you gotta yeah. get on some big scales but um that's really where i see it i really see my bags taking off um i've kind of leaned more into that which i never thought i would be like into the fashion right, aspect right. of it um than the actual art world because art world i don't know if i necessarily see myself in like museums and yeah. stuff but i enjoy like going to shows and showing my work off there. What, what exactly direction do you want to take your, your art in, you know, if it was up to you? If it was up to me, like, I just would love to see my bags, like, on awesome celebrities. Like, Missy Elliott, I feel like, her rocks the hell out of this. Like, Missy <laughs> Elliott, she's she, like, she telling you. It's just she's certain people, it. like, I don't know, I eventually do see, honestly, myself really figuring out the bag and fashion industry, which is kind of crazy. Um, and like I said, just kind of doing the art on the side, but yeah, that, that's where I see that's it. A, like, that's a good answer. Really, that's a real good answer. 
taking the vinyl bags and, and taking so them. So let me ask you this. So what are some hobbies that you, you know, when you actually involve yourself in that, that help you, you know, be a productive person overall? Um, yeah, well, I keep my creative juices flowing now that I'm a, a official graphic designer. I was a teacher for the past few years. So I know. So Shout out to all the teachers. So um, I am a graphic designer, and I actually feel like it stimulates me more to think more in an artsy but business savvy way. Yeah. Um, so that takes it is challenging, but it's informational. I get a lot of information now that I'm in the corporate world, just how to market things differently. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, I'm kind of in the absorbing phase of like absorbing all of that and figuring out how I can push it in myself. But that's one of my main yep. ways to stay creative and just um, take the time, just you know. Really? Living life when things inspire me, I, yeah. I randomly have like thoughts. <laughs> I'm like, let's get to work. Let's figure something you out. Take what you know, what I mean, whether it's the yeah. good or the bad, you try to actually turn it into a positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I try to like when I'm feeling down and stuff. I'm like, all right, well, let me just pick up, you know, an art project and you know, boost my spirits. That's actually what I did today. I was feeling kind of like down, and I was like, oh, let me just pick this up, and that's made me feel really happy. You got creative. Yeah. You feel a lot better. Yeah. You know. Um, I agree. I think that's important to, to actually find yourself and figure out what makes you happy and actually yeah. do it rather than just, you know, start it off as a business because yeah. it's not going to be enjoyable if you're taking it very seriously. Like, yeah, I did that. Fun. I did that and I got really burnt out with, um, I think one of my main things, and mm -hmm. I won't be doing this going forward, is like the commissions, yeah. <laughs> just doing what other people want me to do. And I kind of do that with my job now and I just realized how much I don't really care for that. Yeah. Um, I like it more when it's organic you know, I feel it and you know, it just kinda comes out versus doing work for other people. Unless like your your idea is like super, super cool. Like I just had a really cool commission um a few days ago that I uh, turned in and it was just like old school hip hop and like mm. I love stuff like that. Like if it's like but like these new rappers and stuff, I'm like ah, yeah. I ain't doing a little Who's your favorite, who's, yeah. who's, who's your favorite who's your favorite hip hop artist? Uh greatest of all time rapper. I will say, and I'll say it very proudly, is Big Daddy Kane. I don't oh, care what anyone says. Said Big Daddy Kane, y'all. <laughs> he is the flow master. Um, really? Because one, he can rhyme quick, which mm. I think is awesome. Um, rhyme quick, he tells great stories. Um, I know he only has a few albums, you know, from back in the day, but he's actually my favorite um, yeah. rapper of all time. But for the modern times. Who you think, um, <laughs> who you, who you think could, could stick with him in his era? I mean, his prodigy, Biggie. Uh, Biggie is a prodigy of Big Daddy. I mean, he said it multiple times in his rhymes. Uh, really? Jay-Z. Um, and just in that caliber, like rhyming fast, storytelling. Um, Jay-Z, Big. Um, yeah. Probably Nas as well. Um, just to kind of name the classics. But those are traditionally like my favorite rappers too. Like people that I listen to. That's some They're stuff. inspired by Big Daddy Kane in some way. Yeah, so that music has had an impact on you over the yeah. years, to say. Yeah, pretty okay. much. I love the 80s era. Um, didn't grow up in it, but I think it's like I'm like nostalgic. Like, I love the vibe. <laughs> and, of course, the 90s. I like the 90s to a certain point. I think until 95, like, when all the beef started happening, is when things got a little left. But... <laughs> but you know that's what that's yeah. that's what comes with it when they yeah. push and stuff like that and people yeah, don't know yeah. who they are rather than working with each other. Yeah. We fight against each other and it just yeah. messes up everything. It does. Wrong, so. I am not for the violence. <laughs> I'm not no, for the violence at all. <laughs> but you know, I'm not gonna lie, I listen to a little future, a little Drake, you know what I'm saying? Twenty little savage every day. But I just feel like it's a certain point it's in a time, time and place. for that. Yeah. And it shouldn't be necessarily mainstream. Like the mainstream should be like people like Corday. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know him, but he's a Her great rapper. Man. He's he's very conscious. J Cole. You know, Kendrick, of course. Like those yeah. are basic people to know. But to it's just it. sad sometimes when some of the the more ratchetness That's I guess really. gets pushed. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. It's great. Like I love me some Cardi B. Uh, what is the other girl? The Glorilla song. I don't, I don't know much about her, but I like the songs. They're catchy, but like, you know, really listen to what people are saying, you know, what yeah. they're promoting. And I think if, if you have a balance of it, you're fine. But sometimes I worry for these kids because it's just like straight gutter rap. And half of them don't even live the life that they're listening to, but they, you know, they absorb it and they just like, I want to live that life, even though they're not in that environment necessarily.
I think folks got to see what comes with that life and then yeah. you decide yeah. you really want to be a part of it because you don't yeah. want to have yourself in something. Right. And then once you see what it is and you're already knee deep in it, it's exactly. just like there's no turning back. So yeah. you got to really music pick is, your poisons, you know? Yes, music is definitely a big um, influence. And I think that, you know, the man, I guess I will say, has figured that out. Um, and, you know, sadly, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of children now are listening to a lot of just garbage, you know? Yeah. Like, it, it's sad. It doesn't have no substance, so when you do introduce them to him, like I introduced my yes. my cousin in the Freddie Gibbs, shout out to Freddie Gibbs, by the yeah. way, even though he's not even part of watching or something. <laughs> but still. But still. <laughs> yeah. When I hear his stories and where he's been and how he got to where he's at, but right. what comes with your choices, it really makes you kind of look at life differently. Yeah. And you make better choices overall if yeah. you want a certain particular lifestyle. Yes. Um, yes. One question for you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, before closing, what is something that you would want your listeners to take with them um, from this interview as far as you have a life lessons and things like that? Um, with some word of advice I mean, you I'll, speak, I'll speak to the artists because I know I have a lot of artists that follow me. Mm -hmm. um, burnout is real. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, do not burn yourself out. Take breaks when you need to, uh, for sure. Um, but don't feel bad about it. Like, do not feel guilty about taking a break. And, you know, the internet's not going anywhere. You yeah. don't post for a while. Like, it's okay. And that's for, like, anybody, really. Like, yeah. influencers or people that feel like social media kind of consumes their life. Like, take a break from it. Walk away. I encourage you to. And yeah. just figure out stuff about yourself. Like, I realize how much I don't, like, I'm not... I don't know myself outside of art, you know, like I'm mm. trying to find other hobbies that I enjoy. Mm. Like I recently discovered I like cooking um, <laughs> and figuring yeah. out vegan recipes. So um, just figuring out other things you like besides art. So that way there's like a balance. Just having a balance. I yeah, I, I think that's important because I realized when I didn't have a balance, I would just only stay focused on one thing. And yeah. It was hard for me to try something new or really believe in myself and have that confidence yeah. to do that. So I feel like once you start doing different things and getting outside of your comfort zone, yeah. you're able to have better results in what you're really trying to achieve rather yeah. than just that being your primary focus. Yeah, no, that's I, big. Agree. I agree. I agree. So yeah, just keeping a balance with just everything in life, you know, and mm -hmm. As we get older, it just seems like it's a little harder to do that. Yeah. And, um, you know, just, you'll be all right. <laughs> so <laughs> Take it one day at a time. The one day at a time, y'all. So, yeah, time. besides that, how can the people find you um, outside of this? Or what major platforms right can they find J Vinyl? Yeah, right now, just Instagram is the main source, just J Vinyl Art. Um, and my website, it's up, but I'm kind of in the process of transferring my domain name. No over. commissions. <laughs> yeah, no but commissions. Think, but if you go to the link in my bio from my Instagram, um, it's kind of like a basic page for right now. Um, mm -hmm. It'll take you straight to my website. There's a little bit of stuff on there. Of course, like my Mac Miller piece um, and a few old bags. And then I'll be dropping some new stuff very soon. Hopefully this week, get this bag up there. Um, yeah. And yeah, that's pretty much how you find me. Instagram is your source. I would say for sure. So y'all here, y'all on Queasy Low Speaks Podcast. You can find J Vinyl at IG. So y'all be sure to tune in, stay tapped in for more episodes. This has been a pleasure having it's you been a pleasure. on I'm the podcast. Too. Where can my followers find you? Sir? So <laughs> your followers can find me on IG as well and Facebook at Queasy Low Speaks Podcast and also yeah. on YouTube. Man, y'all be sure to smash that like button comment on the videos, leave some feedback. And if y'all know somebody that can benefit from this podcast, please feel free to uh, pass the video along and share the info on both ends. She has some of the best art in Charlotte that I've seen thus far, and uh, she does a hell of a job, y'all. Yeah, I try, man. Appreciate it. No doubt. <laughs> this is Queasy Low Speech right. Podcast. We're out, y'all. Y'all be blessed. Holla. <laughs>